Welcome to Raja Online Trainings. In the series of Java puzzles, let us go with one more new puzzle in this video. Here we have taken a class base with a static method, static void do stuff, and in that we are displaying a message base method. And we are taking one more class derived extends base. And again, we have taken the static method void do stuff, and uh, we are printing the message derived method. And in the class Java Puzzle 35, in main method, we are creating base class reference. Base B equal to new derived. This is important. Base is referring to this new derived object. Now, when we call the method B dot do stuff, what is the output of this code? Whether it will whether it will go to do stuff method of base class, or the, whether it goes to do stuff method of derived class. That is the main thing, and that is the main object of this puzzle. And let us see the options here. The options are like it may go with compile time error or it may be runtime error. It is going to display a message based method and it's going to the option is derived method. Now, let us understand what will be the output of this. So, maximum cases we think that this do stuff method is overridden method. So, what is the concept of method overriding? What are the method present in base class? What are the method present in base class? If you are writing the same method with the same signature, same signature means same arguments. Here no arguments, here also no arguments. So what are the method present in base class? If you are writing the same method in your derived class, and this concept is called as overriding. This concept is called as what? Overriding. Now when we are using static. When we are using static keyword for a method, static keyword is related to a class. Whenever we say static, it is related to the class concept. But whereas coming to overriding concept, overriding concept is related to objects. Overriding concept is related to what? Objects. So in this case, as we are using static keyword for your methods, static methods are cannot be considered as overridden. Static methods, we cannot override static methods. The concept over here is the point what we should remember is static methods cannot be considered as overridden. Static methods cannot be overridden. So, this is a separate method for base. This is a separate method for derived. So, when you are saying base b equal to new derived, so we are referring to this base here, base. So, this base class is important. So, when you say b dot do stuff, it is going to invoke which method here? It's going to invoke this base class do stuff method because this method is not considered as overridden method. Since we are going with the base class, since static is related to class, it will go to do stuff method of base class. And the output of this program is base method. The output of this program is what here? Base method. So the correct option for this puzzle is C option that is base method. Now, if you remove this static keyword, let us suppose if there is no static keyword, if there is no static keyword over here, now this method is considered as overridden method. This method is considered as what? Overridden method. So when you say base b equal to new derived, when you call b dot do stuff, then it goes to this overridden method. Then the output will be derived method. So if there is no static keyword, the output will be derived method. And if you are using static keyword, it always goes to the base only. Remember, whenever we use static, it always goes to the, it starts from, it starts searching for that method from base. So it always goes to the base classes because static methods are not considered for overridden. Static methods cannot be overridden. This is the main objective of this passage. Right? So that's about in this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.